Hello, YouTubers. It's your favorite gay guru, Michael Brewer, reporting to you from my favorite lake here in Switzerland on a really warm, beautiful day here in February 2008. Today I want to talk to you about something uh, rather unusual, kind of off what we've been talking about up till now, but then again it isn't, because it's all connected, and uh, we all are one, and we all are connected. It's come to my attention uh, lately uh, that a number of my subscribers are of transgender people. And particularly one person, you know who you are, uh, has become very close and dear to me in recent days, very quickly. And it's really brought this whole topic of transgenderness to my attention, and it's something I'd like to talk about right here and now. What is transgender? Um, I, this is my humble definition, forgive me if I get this wrong, it's a person who uh, in this lifetime feels that they were born in, or are existing in the wrong gender body. A man who feels more like a woman or like a woman and would like to physically be a woman or a woman who feels like she would, would like to be a man and wants to live as a man fully, completely in their body, in their physical beingness. Um, what is it about our society that has such a difficult time dealing with people that are different? I mean, it's a very small minority of people that find themselves in this situation. And uh, you got to admit, they probably have a pretty hard time. And why is that? Think about how the transgender people we have known in our lives, even as a gay man, the only trans people I ever get to know are in drag shows. Uh, they're entertainers, freaks, people we point out and laugh at, uh, who have entertained us. Whereas actually, we gay and lesbian and bisexual people owe them a huge debt. Uh, because transgender people are the ones who have made us visible over the years for whatever reasons. They're like groundbreakers and trendsetters that really bring our topics to the forefront of public consciousness. Yet do we honor them the way they should be honored? No, we don't. We point and we laugh. We gasp. We criticize. We giggle. We talk behind their backs. Um, we shy away. We walk across the other side of the street to avoid talking to them. We think they're freaks and weirdos, don't we? Even gay people, even lesbians, even bisexuals. I'm not talking about all of us, but a lot of us. I'm not including myself, but maybe in the past I have. I mean, the only time I've encountered transgender people are in films like Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, or Torch, Horn, Torch Song Trilogy, or things like that. They're people that I watch. They're not friends. They're not people I know. Until recently, I've got to know someone. And it really made me come to think. It's like, wow, these are people just like you and me. And not only that, but they're really courageous. Think of the courage it must take to be a person who feels that he or she is in a body of a gender that isn't them and, and has gone out now of their way and through a rather arduous, painful process to change that situation and to adapt their bodies to match their feeling and sense of themselves, of their own identity. Just think of the resistance these people must face in their environments at work, in school, walking down the street. I mean, think of all the news reports of how many of them get beaten up or killed or, or if not just discriminated against. Every day, these people meet, must meet with discrimination and rejection every day. And do we, as gay and lesbian people, do we support them? Actually, if you look at recent political events and uh, legislation, we don't. We do everything we can to exclude them because we're so afraid to be painted tart with the same brush as freaks. When actually these are just people who just want to live and be happy just like anyone else. And while it could be argued that this is a rather superficial thing, I don't think it is. If you've been paying attention to my blog and the work I've been doing, um, it's all about manifestation, about getting what you want in your life, fulfilling your desires, um, and making things happen. Well, isn't that what they're doing? Aren't they stating, I have a desire to be other than I am now? I have a desire to appear other? And in the end, is it really such a big deal? I mean, we are eternal beings. 
stuck in these bodies temporarily, I mean really temporarily, in the vast scheme of things, the eternal scheme of things we're here for, just a blink of an eye on this physical plane in these meat casings we call bodies. What's the difference between changing your body to match the gender with which you feel more comfortable and changing your clothes? It's just both their outer wrappings. I mean, what's the big deal? Who cares? And why do people have such a hard time with people who are different? I mean, we all, if you've been gay or lesbian or bisexual or just a person of color or a different religion or whatever, if you've been different, you know what it's like in our world to go through life and being stared at and gawked at, criticized, teased, or even bashed. Just think how it must be for these people who are so obviously different. It must be hard. And so, I'm not saying all of them have a hard time. Some of them seem rather comfortable with it. But those who those are, I want you to know that you personally have my support. And I think what you're doing is really, really courageous. And I would encourage all of you, whatever your sexual preference is, whatever your gender is or outer appearance is, to real look, take a look inside of yourself and think about how you have approached this subject of transgender people, whether it's a man trans transgendering to a woman or a woman transgendering to a man. Whatever phase they may happen to be in, have you been kind? Do you go out of your way to avoid them? Do you point? Do you, ga do you gawk? Or do you say hello or treat them just like anybody else? Because that's what they are. Now, people, until we get to the point where we all realize that we are all one and we are all equal and we are all the same and we're all connected, we're going to keep hurting ourselves because every time we criticize, judge, or hurt another person, we're criticizing, judging, and hurting ourselves. And so, all you transgender people, you drag queens, you drag kings, whatever you want to call yourselves, I don't really care. I hope you're happy. And I celebrate you on your journey of transition into whatever physical form you feel most comfortable with. And remember that the point of all this is to be reaching for what feels best and what feels makes you happy inside, inside. And if your outer appearance and feeling and physical incorporation is what you need to change to make you happy, yourself happy, well then... I applaud that, and I applaud that transition, and I encourage you to go forward and move into the, the physical form in which you feel most comfortable and most happy. And the next time I see a person like you, I'm going to go out of my way to say hello, and not just look away, and not gawk, and not gossip, and not criticize, and not point, or even clap. I just want to say hello, just like I would anyone else. So. For you recent subscribers to my sites, who are people in transition, I want to thank you for opening my eyes to something I, I was probably a little bit asleep myself about, and also for opening my eyes to a whole new world. You know that you have a lot to be proud about. In a lot of other society, people like you are honored as holy, sacred people. The American Indians and the Canadian Indian traditions, they're called burdocks, and they are the holy men and shamans. In uh, Polynesian culture, same thing. Also in, uh, in Indian, there are sects of a holy, holy transgender people. And they're holy people, honored and revered. It's only in Western culture that we seem to have such a problem with people who are just real different. Well, I for one want to get over it. I'm over it. And I hope the rest of you get over it too. So, I welcome you all to my site. Uh, whether you're straight or gay or bi or transgender or a person in transition or a person who doesn't know, I don't really care. It really makes no difference. You're all my brothers and sisters and I welcome you here and I hope to continue journeying with me as we continue to explore topics like this and others. And uh, welcome. Thank you. <laughs>